stem cells from an unborn fetus, the mother's going to have an abortion anyway. As the abortion, rather than discard that fetus, they harvest the stem cells. Another laboratory has reduced their effort on studies that require fetal tissues due to personal safety. We look at one of the most divisive issues in America, abortion. We have to bomb and torch clinics, so be it. The way I feel about it is those babies are going to get aborted anyways. If you're going to have an abortion, don't waste what can save someone's life. Her gait was really wobbly all over the place, and now she walks super straight to be able to walk in a straight line. I have not had one pain episode the first time in 18 years. I am totally pain-free and medication-free. They take their products and their technologies overseas where they're not subject to the same regulatory constraints. That is a symptom of the problem. We reject the notion that a regulatory pathway that takes over 15 years and costs over $2 billion is the only way to go. I would never think anything like this would work. I haven't seen anybody get this well. I have to tell people that I have Parkinson's. Nobody would ever believe me. It's thick that we know how to help people and cure illness, and we can't do it. The demand, the need is very real. Patients really are suffering. They really are desperate. They really do need help. You can ease your dying with medicine. And that's not something I wanted to hear. So going to a different country for treatment sounds a lot better than that. If fetal stem cells ever become widely used, it will change the entire profit picture of the pharmaceutical industry.